So let's get going. This time's flying. I believe that this is something I learned from Janet and Robin, that high-performing leaders, and I love that word relentless, have a relentless and daily focus on leading a successful system. They want to be held accountable. And for me, when I think about this, I had these beliefs, but what I needed was more than the principles, because I knew these principles that you're going to read about in the book that you received. I believed in these principles, believed them in my heart and soul, because it's what we do as educators. But this is where I needed help. This idea of hardwiring the how. How do we execute those principles with accountability, consistency, and reliability? That, to me, is where, as a leader, I needed the strategies to help do that. I needed help in order to do those strategies and put those principles to life consistently throughout my organization. So that's what I really want to focus on today, is how can we use these tools in evidence-based leadership, and this is what evidence-based leadership is all about, to really get at that head, hand, and heart of education and execute what's important with accountability, consistency, and reliability. So let's jump in. I'm not going to spend much time on this today because you're going to have lots of opportunities, but this is what I needed help with, this outer ring of helping my leaders in my district use tools to act and then be coached and validate and assess and diagnose. I knew we wanted to be excellent. I believed that we are passionate and we had principles. I didn't know anything about killer results until we got going. But it was that process that we needed to put in place. We needed those pieces. And by the way, this is a wonderful chart in your folder that you can take a look at, that set of arrows at the bottom. How do we go about diagnosing, acting, coaching, validating, and assessing in a way that really is meaningful 